Girdle numbering, Wikipedia article. In mathematical logic, a girdle numbering is a function that assigns to each a simple and well-formed formula of some formal language a unique natural number called its girdle number. The concept was used by Kurt Girdle for the proof of his incompleteness theorems, Girdle 1931. A girdle numbering can be interpreted as an encoding in which a number is assigned to each a symbol of a mathematical notation, after which a sequence of natural numbers can then represent the sequence of symbols. These sequences of natural numbers can again be represented by single natural numbers, facilitating their manipulation in formal theories of arithmetic. Since the publishing of Gödel's paper in 1931, the term Gödel numbering or Gödel code has been used to refer to more general assignments of natural numbers to mathematical objects. Simplified Overview Gödel noted that statements within a system can be represented by natural numbers. The significance of this was that properties of statements, such as their truth and falsehood, would be equivalent to determining whether their girdle numbers had certain properties. The numbers involved might be very long indeed, in terms of number of digits. But this is not a barrier. All that matters is that we can show such numbers can be constructed. In simple terms, we devise a method by which every formula or statement that can be formulated in our system gets a unique number in such a way that we can mechanically convert back and forth between formulas and girdle numbers. Clearly, there are many ways this can be done. Given any statement, the number it is converted to is known as its girdle number. A simple example is the way in which English is stored as a sequence of numbers in computers using ASCII or Unicode. The word hello is represented by 72, 69, 76, 76, 79 using decimal ASCII. The logical formula x equals y is equal to or greater than y equals x is represented by 120, 61, 121, 32, 61, 62, 32, 121, 61, 120, using decimal ASCII.